It's an opportunity that Beyond the Burrows, you know, and our charity, you know, my charity that I started, Hope Africa, has, you know, an opportunity to partnership with them and develop the platform where we're giving scholarships to students of African descent. And it really is just perpetuating a cycle of education. I mean, you don't ever want to put a band-aid over a situation. You want to kind of find a solution to it. And the solution that we found was giving the students the right tools to succeed. And they already have the mindset and the drive. But Hope Africa and Beyond the Burrows just gives them the push to head in the right direction. Well, I'm just so proud, you know. Um, it's so much bigger than football. And when men can look past their current situations in the NFL and understand that there's a bigger picture to it all and God has given them a platform for a reason and, and to use it, you know, not only for His glory, but, but to help people, you know, because we, we value education here in America. and. Other countries aren't as, um, they aren't as blessed as we are in, in that area. So it, it's just awesome and I'm, I'm thankful to stand with you. I definitely want to say thank you for you guys sitting down and taking the time to talk to Vocab. But before we do get out of here, we also want to talk about, you know, the rookies that's getting ready to come into the league. Any advice? <laughs> come on now. Um, you know, it's, it's an exciting time for them. You know, enjoy it. You know, take it all in. Ex celebrate it. You, you've all worked so hard to get to this position and get this point in your life. So, you know, give God the glory, celebrate it, enjoy it. But understand that once tonight's over, the, the real work begins. Now that this is what it means to be in the NFL. It's one thing to get there. It's another thing to stay there. And that's what that's what legacies are made in terms of staying there. So. so outside of your organizations, what are some of the other endeavors you plan to tackle for 2013? Wow, that's, that's, that's a big story. I'm looking, you know, to really, you know, um, look into franchising. I'm very excited about that. I'm into um, early childhood education. Um, I'm actually looking into getting my MBA and going, you know, uh, and going back to school. So there's, there's a lot. I mean, we're also getting married, you know, th this month. You know, well, next month in June. So, you know, there's a lot going on, but, you know, exciting. It's a great time. You know, we're world champions. So just first and foremost, to, to understand and know what Hope Africa is doing and everything behind it, go to www.hopeafterthusa.org. And that shows since 2008 the background of our organization, from our board members to the scholarships that we've given to the schools that the students have attended, you know, what we're doing. Also, you can go to uh, Facebook backslash Hope Africa USA. We have a page on there. Follow me as well at, at Jamesy e. Hedibo on Instagram. Um, Twitter, it's the same thing, at Jamesy e. Hedibo, I H E D I G B O. And, you know, stay tuned for what we got coming up next. It's, you know, it only gets bigger and better. I want to talk on. about the, the new acquisitions for the team and your new team members because we got to talk to uh, one of our old giant members that's on the team now. You want to talk about that? Oh, I'm so excited that Chris is on the team, man. <laughs> Chris Canty is an amazing guy. I mean, I supported him for years with his charity and everything that he does for kids. And, you know, he'll be here tonight also. But, you know, we're excited to have him on that defense. It makes my job a lot easier at safety. And I know I got a guy like him rushing a pass or so. Um, you know, him, Elvis Dumerville, you know, Michael Huff. I mean, you know, we're, we're putting guys in, in, in places to make big plays. And, you know, that's what we do on so Baltimore. So, to my right, we have Tutan Reyes, former NFL player. We want to talk to you about, you know, Hope for Africa and Beyond the Burrows and the significance of this contribution to what everyone is trying to produce. Definitely. Well, you know, with Beyond the Burrows, we give our scholarships to students with an unmet financial need. Hope Africa does the same thing. And uh, we just partnered last year to try to reach a broader base of people that we can uh, support. So we do our NFL draft fundraiser every year. We bring a lot of uh, business elite people from the New York City area along with the uh, NFL players. And they get to kind of rub elbows together, learn about the charities, and also have a great time watching the first round of the draft. So all in all, it's a great cause, and uh, we raise funds for the students, and it's been going good so far, and we're looking forward to tonight.
Absolutely. And speaking of, you know, the draft, you want to talk, you know, you want to ask you, do you have any words of advice for the new rookies that's getting ready to come into the league? Yeah, definitely. Stay humble and stay hungry. You know, you, you, it took a lot of hard work for, for them to get this far, but this is only the beginning. Uh, even if you don't get drafted and you get uh, signed as a free agent, you still have an uphill battle, a long way to go uh, to get vested, to saving your money, to doing the right things. All the pressures that are got to come with it, you have to be ready to, to, to handle that with the right, handle that the right way. So again, as long as you stay hungry and do the right thing, you'll be fine. So we want to ask you, uh, what's some of the endeavors that you look to tackle for 2013? Well, for 2013, obviously, we want to uh, continue to build on uh, Beyond the Burrows and reach more students. Um, I have a restaurant in Lounge in Atlanta called Cloud9. want to build on that and a marketing and branding company called Rays and Wolf Network. So if we can continue to, to just grow these uh, entities, then I think I'll be doing all right. Speaking of growing your entities, for some of the fans and followers that want to get more in tune with you in Vocab Magazine, you want to give us some of your you know, social media platforms and websites? Yeah, definitely. Um, well, you can follow us uh, on Twitter. My name is Tutan Reyes, T-U-T-A-N-R-E-Y-E-S. Um, Beyond the Burrows is BTB Scholarship, at BTB Scholarship. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook at Beyond the Burrows, uh, Facebook, Tutan Reyes as well. And uh, you can also visit the website, support, donate, spread the word at www.beyondtheburrows.org. Right, we have Brett Lockett. Of course, we spoke to him at a previous NFL event, but this is something a little more with substance because we're talking about two organizations that, you know, are really doing stuff to bring back to the community. And we talk about Hope Africa and Beyond the Burrows. You want to give your thoughts? on this on these two organizations absolutely um you know one is you know my boy james you know is putting on who you know i play with the new england and um you know it's it's just imperative that we're giving back to the community first and foremost and finding different ways to do that i mean everybody has their passion this is you know this is educating the people who can't get an education so um i i believe completely in that you know i work with a bunch of different organizations um to you know a bunch of different causes but um this this is a great event and it's for a special cause yeah, definitely and for some of those organizations that you are working with i know we didn't get in depth about that the last time we spoke you want to give out some of your websites so people can take a look at the things that you're doing absolutely um you can go to breadlocket.com that'll tell you everything um get it all campaign.com as well um there's a list of all the charities that we work with there um, you know, I, just to name a few, PETA, um, Bullyville, In Play, um, Normal in, in Schools, which is here in New York. So just a, a, a number of different charities, you know, that I feel are important and, you know, I want to use my voice to promote. It's definitely awesome to be here, support Two Time Reyes and the work he does with Beyond the Burrows, with the youth in our community. Uh, everything from scholarships to enrichment programs to fitness programs. I mean, he does it all. He's, he's tireless in his effort, and uh, I'm just here to lend my platform, lend my support in any way I can. He's a great guy, and it's a great cause. So we're here for the NFL draft screening and viewing. You want to talk about what's going on thus far in the draft? Any 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 controversy for you right now? I mean, the controversy started with the first pick. I mean, the, the Chiefs went off the board. GM John Dorsey, they went and selected Eric Fisher over Luke Jokel. That caught me off guard, but, uh, you know, I'm sure we're in for a lot of surprises this evening. The NFL draft is always... Uh, a wild and unpredictable type of deal. So uh, I'm just excited to see where the Baltimore Ravens are going to go with the 32nd pick. I got an inkling, a, a little feeling about what direction we're going to go, but I'm going to let the fans enjoy it and wait and see. I think they'll be excited with the pick. I want to say thank you for your time. We're not going to Hey, you're here with James E. Hedibo, world champion of the Baltimore Ravens, and you're tuned in to Vocab Magazine. Check it out. This is Tucson Reyes, and you're tuned in to Vocab Magazine.